This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and we're going to take a look at the touch friendliness, or lack of touch friendliness. We'll find out on Windows 7 tablet PCs, looking at the ASUS eSlate EP121. Now, I've done a couple of modifications here that I'm going to show you, and I think it goes a long way towards improving touch friendliness. First off, the screen resolution, and that's how this ships by default, is at 125 dpi. How do you do that? You can do this on any computer. right here. Just go to control panel, display, and then choose medium. Why do we do this? Because it makes the icons and things bigger and easier to touch. So you can see the closed boxes and stuff here are not that teeny. I can actually operate them with my finger just fine. And I'll show you how I did that in a minute. First we're going to take a look at IE, so you can see some of this stuff in action. I've enlarged the size of the scroll bars right over here to make them more finger friendly. Now you don't actually need that with IE because it supports pinch zooming and finger panning. As you can see here, guess what? It's just pretty much like using an iPad or an Android tablet. It supports that stuff. But just in case for applications that are not made by Microsoft that are not touch aware, if you want the scroll bars to be bigger, you can enhance them. And we have things like pinch zooming built in here. So no problem with that. Now how did I do that? I'm going to take a look at just type in Windows Colors and Metrics, or just Windows Colors, and then you can choose Change Windows Color and Metrics. And right here you can change the size of various items. So we go over to scroll bar right over here, and I've increased it to 26 pixels. So I've made it wider, or 26 point, whatever the convention is. So you have bigger scroll bars. You can also do things like change the active window border and the title bar which I've also done to make them larger so all of these guys in here as you need you can make them larger but mostly it's going to be your your uh, title bar and your scroll bars that you want to make bigger again everything is pretty touch friendly these buttons are big enough to use because a 12 inch display is the standard for Windows 7 tablet PC so you don't run into trouble it's with the 10 inch and smaller Windows tablets and the little UMPCs with touch screens that you have the big problem to launch an application, you simply double tap on it, and again, this is Firefox right here. Also supports scrolling with the screen, no problem. Firefox 3.x has always supported pinch zooming. For some reason, in the first version of Firefox 4, they took that away, and you have to go into settings and change it if you want to get pinch zooming back, and it's not as smooth as it was before, unfortunately. It's a little bit slower and less fluid, but it is there nonetheless. Again, I've made these quite easy to operate using the Windows and Color Metrics settings changing features, so not bad. Now if you're using something like Photoshop, which is not by default going to be touch aware, you're going to just have regular functions. We're just going to open up a sample picture here. And we'll zoom in on that a little bit. So this, no panning around. You have finger selection. Of course, you can use the Wacom pen, which is probably what you want to do if you're in Photoshop to operate that. So that's what you see in an application that is not touch aware, kind of standard behavior. And Photoshop maintains its own scroll bar size, so these are a little bit smaller, but they're still, though small, pretty easy to grab and operate with your finger. So for those of you who are not particularly graphic artists or note takers who are looking at this as something that's more powerful than an iPad or an Android tablet, one of the mobile OS products, now you have a better idea of what you're getting into in terms of touch. Not as bad as you might have heard, in other words. Not completely optimized, but still good. Things like window resizing can be a little bit of a pain. Again, since I changed the window borders here, it's a bit easier. See how fat these are around the edges? They're a little bit translucent, so it's hard to see. But they can still be a little hard to grab with your finger, but it's easier when they're big. Of course, to be fair, mobile operating systems like iOS and Android, they just don't even give you the ability to res resize windows. They're running full screen, so they, they avoid the problem altogether. So now I've grabbed it, but it can be a little bit of a pain to do that kind of thing. And then you've got a bunch of handy Windows conventions in Windows 7. For example, if you drag the title bar up here, it goes to full screen. If you pull it back, it automatically resizes it down. So there's a lot of automation here that can make it easier to operate these things. You can drag windows around. You can have windows side by side and switch between your applications pretty easily down here because the taskbar is nice and tall. So that's Windows 7 tablet features on the eSlate EP121. Visit Mobile Tech Review to read our full review of this 
cool new tablet PC.